Hey guys, Kathy Dryden here. You're kicking back in my kitchen, Pampered Chef style. Everybody's stressing out, going crazy about Thanksgiving, and tonight we're having lasagna. Tried to go off the beaten path a little bit so um, I could have a fresh start with getting everything ready for the big holiday on Thursday. So let me show you how this lasagna is coming together. It's been really easy, and I'm actually doing a smaller portion than your traditional 9 by 13. I'm using our stoneware loaf pan, which is actually one of my favorites to use for all kinds of little mini casseroles or um, quick bread loaves, things like that. So let's show you how it goes. Okay, so on my counter, I got a step system. Now the trick with a good lasagna is that you want to um, get your meat sauce going and you can flavor this with sausage. You can do it just veggie style, however you wanna do. I did not even have spaghetti um, sauce, so I just did a can of um, tomato sauce and diced tomatoes. I cut those up with a salad chopper. Garlic, all the things. You could also add more veggies if you wanted to get that in there or add your super veggie pea protein stuff. So that's done. The mix over here is the ricotta mix with shredded Parmesan, um, some salt and pepper, and I'm just using the scoop to put the dollops onto that layer. Then I have shredded cheeses, I've got mozzarella, and I have Parmesan. Of course, you know cheese is gonna be bobbed in any recipe I do, unless it is a fabulous uh, sweet recipe. But I'll find cheese somehow in there. So I'm just using the loaf pan, you guys. It's just Wayne and I. If you have a small family, or you just, maybe you're on your own, and you just wanna make a fun lasagna and not have a huge batch, this is a tip. Use a loaf pan size. And it's just as easy, just as good. I did my noodles in the micro cooker, the larger one. I just put water. I broke my noodles in the half size to fit over um, into this size. Now, I do use my kitchen shears to kind of make these fit better. But it's okay if they overlap, especially if you're baking them. Hang on, they're stuck together. But I just did these in the microwave, you guys. A lot easier than having to do the whole kit and caboodle in hot water and wait for it to boil. So in the rice cooker, if you have a crock crock, that also works. And you just fill it up with water, enough to cover the noodles. The noodles can be a little um, on the chewy side because again, it's gonna cook in this sauce. But see how I use my shears? Kind of make it a puzzle, right? It's gonna be so good. And lasagna is something, um, that everybody seems to enjoy and love having and it's always better the next day too so here's the layers noodles i put sauce at the bottom and then i'm just repeating these layers and sauce on top of the noodles the noodles are cooked kind of chewy but they're going to cook as this cooks together and again you can add whatever combination in the sauce you want i normally do like a spaghetti sauce jar of marinara or if it has mushrooms just depends on what you're in the mood for then I'm gonna do some mozzarella cheese and this is gonna go in the oven you guys I finally turned my big oven on it's cozy in the house because it's so cold here and it's gonna be perfect for this adventure all right I am probably gonna put a cookie sheet under here just so my nice clean oven for Thanksgiving doesn't have any problems but I just like to use our large scoop to kind of put it in here and then our scoop and spread will help me smear it around okay now with this again you're not gonna use as much noodles or as many um, as much sauce so just be aware with that and it's okay if you even want to just half it, right? I'm looking for my little spreader, sorry. Okay, so my little scoop and spread, which is really for pepperoni, no, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, but I use it pretty much for everything. Spreading peanut butter, butter, spreading out the ricotta layer of lasagna. Is anybody on here a fan of lasagna? <laughs> my husband says, uh-huh. Get it in the oven, Kathy. Quit talking. Okay, so this is going to be the final layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on top. I'm going to kind of press it down. Um, and then I'm going to stick it in the oven. 
and again I'll put something underneath it in case it boils up but people don't think about with a loaf pan all the options you have yep you can do meatloaf yep you could do breads but you could also do miniature serving casseroles or monkey bread like for a breakfast casserole I'm gonna put a little sauce on top so these don't get too dry and then I'm gonna finish it off with cheese Oh, my favorite ingredient. You guys know this. Don't want to go too crazy with the sauce because it is going to bubble up. But I do want to cover the noodles so they don't turn out hard um, on the top layer. Okay, final part. More cheese, please. <laughs> you know. And this is going to go in the oven. Again, because it's half the size, I'm going to have to watch it. But I think it's going to be fine doing it... Probably because pretty much everything's cooked except the mid layer and I didn't do the egg in there um, So I think it's telling me to do it for about 30 minutes bless you and I will probably do it 20 minutes and see how it goes, but how pretty is this? I have some fresh um, Parsley that I'm going to trim later. It's been in my mason jar that I will put on top after it's all done And I'll do a picture of how it looks after it's baked you guys I can't stand how excited I am. There's nothing like comfort food when it's super duper cold outside Hey, Kendra. Um, and so this is just a fun way to use a loaf pan lots of different ways because my kitchen is so small I have to think of different jobs for these tools right so like the cookie scoop that you could do for the muffin muffin pan or meatballs or serving sizes we use for ricotta to spread that out today all right you guys comment below if you're an Italian fan I'm gonna head on out and put this in the oven again I will put a picture in the comments when it's all done and out of the oven ready to eat all right, toodaloo, buckaroos. Bye.